Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thanks for tuning in today and watching the video. Now recently I've had a number of questions about navigation apps. Of course, we're in that planning stage at the moment for potential trips later this year, fingers crossed, that we're gonna be able to go. So we're planning our trips now and there's been some questions about what are the best navigation tools to use. So a couple of years ago, I did the KTM MyRide navigation app review and recently I did the BMW Motorrad navigation app review. Links uh, to those uh, videos at the end of this video. Uh, today though, I'm gonna be doing another one and I'm gonna be doing Calimoto. So if that's of some interest to you, keep watching and let's get into it. Now, if you wanna be sure to get all the information regarding other reviews of navigation apps that I do, don't forget to click the red subscribe button, the bell notification and then all to make sure you don't miss out on any updates. So without any further ado, let's get started at looking at how to use the Calimoto information. So let's start with the online version and then that's gonna follow through into the navigation app. So here we are on the home screen of the Calimoto navigation app uh, for the online version. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to sign up if you don't have an account already. So top right hand corner, click the red sign in box. So now that you're here, you just go ahead and put in the relevant details for your account and the information that you want as your username and password. Once you've done that, top right hand corner of the home screen, um, you'll see that you've got now got an account logged in as your details and you want to click on that information and it takes you to this screen. And what you can do here is add your motorbike. So in the middle section there, you can add a motorbike. I've already got my bike there, but clicking the plus button that brings up a screen to allow you to add all the details for another motorbike, one or two, it depends on how many you have, um, just so that you've got that information in there about your bike. So now that we've done that, you are now ready and set up to use the online version of the Calimoto navigation tool. So orientation to the screen, first of all, at the top, these five buttons going horizontally across the top, that'll just give you an overview of how to um, use and what the Calimoto navigation app does. Later on in this video, I'll be showing you how to set everything up for the Calimoto navigation app. Now let's have a look at the four options at the very top, starting with the trip planner. So on the screen, um, it takes you to the map and you have your usual navigation options at the bottom of the map. So you have your search function, you have your plus and minus to zoom in and out. You have your previous and forward actions. And this is a great little option here. What you can do is to select either eatery, so places to, to dine in. Now, if you were zoomed out too far, you will need to zoom in a bit further. And you can also select other options. So for instance, you can choose petrol stations and it'll show you on the map here where your petrol stations are. So a nice little tool there from Calimoto uh, on the interactive part of the map. Now you've got the weather icon next door to that. And what you can see here, um, a little uh, information box also appears when you click on the weather icon, telling you the time and the date as it plays. Uh, and as, if you zoom out, you get a better view of the impact of the weather heading towards your direction with this function. So another little function that's really nice from Calimoto. So now let's concentrate on the right hand side of the screen. So let's orientate ourselves. Uh, my rides at the top. If you've got any rides that you've saved or planned, they'll be in there. You've got my favorites and also uh, my trip planner as well. Now within the trip planner, you have these three options. Settings, you wanna make sure you're in miles or kilometers for your location. And then just check your radio buttons on the options underneath here uh, for the ones that you want on or off or, or active or not. You also have import GPX and export GPX. Just make sure when you're doing this that you, your file ends in GPX so that you can, your computer knows it's a GPX file. So planning a trip, um, this is where you start your planning trip from. So in this first line is your start point. And I'm going to start at the Trout Beck Inn in the Lake District. A shout out for the Trout Beck Inn. Really nice place. Uh, good food, good quality drinks as well. Um, your end destination, um, you don't put that in yet. Your your next destination is by is done by clicking the plus button here. Now, the reason that you've got to do it in order is that uh, sometimes it can get mixed up. So don't put your next destination in the field underneath it. You want to click the plus button here and then find the location that you want to go to. Now, I'm planning a three pass trip, so three different uh, mountain passes in the Lake District here. So let's go ahead and plan all of that and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So 
So all the destinations are now put in and unfortunately the, the route is not as I had planned. It doesn't look right. And that's because some of the destinations on the right hand side have fallen out of order. So let me show you how to put those back into order. So to get your route in the direction that you want it and plan the way that you want it, you simply click on the number for one of the sections and move that up or down depending on where you want it to sit. And once you've done that, the map on the left hand side will uh, will um, regenerate and it'll complete your route as you want it. Now you can also alter the uh, strength of uh, the windiness of the roads that you're riding on by using these red buttons. And from the left to the right, you go from least windy to the most windy. And so if you just concentrate on the left-hand side here on the map where I've just highlighted, um, and I'll click the most windy section, and it'll just change that particular part of the map. And you can do that for all of the sections of the map and get it set up the way that you want to. And once you've done that and you're happy with how your route looks, you can now click Save. And uh, you can name your route as you want to. So I'm going to name this one Three Passes Lake District because this route takes in three passes within the Lake District, three mountain passes. And save that route. And that will then appear up in the My Rides section at the top of that column. And there it is. And what you can do from here is to, um, you can export that, you can share it, or if you're not happy with it, you can delete it. Now that ride will appear in the Kalimoto navigation app and I'll show you how to load that later on. Now let's get into the discover section of this online app. So um, clicking on discover brings you to this screen and what you can see here um, straight away is that you get a number of uh, route maps from around the world. So uh, the key, you keep on scrolling down and you get more maps from riders around the world that have actually saved their routes. And so you can choose from any of these, but obviously you want to be able to search first of all. So uh, top of the screen there, you've got a search function. So in here you can type anywhere. I'm just going to type in England. And then you get a, a different uh, selection of choices. Uh, select the one that's most appropriate for you. I'm going to go for Northern England. And you'll get routes now that um, people have saved or planned for um, in the Northern England area. And you can select your range of how far you want these to go by using the slider range bar here, um, going from little mileage up to very high mileage. You've got functions here to select from, uh, depending on the type of riding you want to do. So I'm going to select twisty, twisty roads. So I'm going to be doing road riding, twisty roads, and that'll further filter the routes available in the drop down select selections below. And then you can scroll down and select one that is most appropriate for you for your location. Now on the right hand side, you've got some options regarding this route. So um, first of all, you've got some information about the route that this rider has saved. Mileage time is going to take to ride. Some pictures of the route that this rider has installed to the route as well. So you can see what kind of uh, scenery you're going to get. You've got some ratings, some star ratings here um, as per the rider's point of view what kind of terrain it is, the elevation. You've got a short description about the route as well, some information there, so important to read. And then of course you can either export this as a GPX file, or you can start planning uh, your route around this route that this rider has saved. So if we click on start planning, this takes you back to the trip planner section that we were on previously. And what you can do here now is that you can start, well you can see all the waypoints on the right hand side relating to the map. And then what you can do now is you can start adding or subtracting, you can start adding routes or subtracting part of the route and also change the um, severity of the twists within the, the route as well. So if you want it to be more twisty or less twisty, you can make your changes here and then you can save that route and name it as you see fit. So a point of note here is that the uh, rides that you see in the discover section are rides that have actually been ridden via the Kalimoto navigation app. You will not see routes here that have been planned on the online version. They need to be planned and ridden via the Kalimoto navigation app. And that's what you see here. So just remember that when you're looking at these. So that's it in terms of the interactive elements of those four tabs at the top of the screen. You have the help button here. Um, that's got loads of information for helping you to um, either get support or getting started or billing and things like that. So you have an information tab that you can select from the drop down menu or go to the information page. And that concludes the online version and should get you started in terms of planning your upcoming trips.
Now we're going to turn our attention to the Kalimoto navigation app. Right, let's open the Kalimoto app from my home screen. And the first thing it does is take you to the map area. So if you look at the bottom of the screen here, five icons uh, to do with the Kalimoto app. We're on the middle one, which represents the map. From here, you can track your rides. You can start riding straight away and track your ride, or you can search for a location and track your ride there. Um, one thing that I want to draw your attention to is that um, if we zoom out, uh, you can see a black line that surrounds the southern half of England. And that is essentially my um, my free area. So if I want to find rides in this area, I can do that with the app. Anything outside of this area, and I'm going to need a premium subscription with the Kalimoto to be able to do that. So I can use the app to find rides within that lined area. Outside of it, though, I'm going to need a premium subscription. I'll show you that towards the end. So let's focus now on the rest of the icons at the bottom of the screen. We'll start on the left hand side with the rides icon. So here we are on the home page for the rides icon. Uh, now at the top, you've got the discover and the my rides tabs. Now they're exactly the same as what you saw on the online version. So discover means you can search for rides in your location, wherever you are, or for where you're planning to go. You can uh, look at the rides that you've saved. And to the right of that, you can also filter on your selection as well. And now underneath that, you've also got a search bar. So you can type in there, uh, England, Wales, Croatia, Italy, and it'll bring the rides up in those locations where you've searched and filter those searches to make it more appropriate for you. So let's go ahead and click on some of these buttons, see what they do. Let's start with the filter button. So here you can filter your rides, available rides by filter length. And so you can set your length that you want to ride or look at uh, by using the slider bar towards the bottom of the screen. And at the top, you can use those other filters to, to further uh, select the routes that you want to do. And then as you can see here, there's a, a, a routes supplied based on your selection criteria. And then from there, you can select one that you think is most appropriate or that you like the look of. And then you can check out all the information on there, um, the ratings by the rider, um, whether it's fast or twisty and the, the other filters that c come along with it, your elevation, etc. Uh, this is previewing. There's a preview button so you can start to preview. And as you can see here, the route falls inside and out of the black line. Now remember that black line relates to my free area. And if I click start planning, it's going to come up and say, sorry, your this route is outside of your free area. Uh, so as you can see here, whilst it starts inside of my free area, it's out, it, it actually goes out of it. So I've got to go back and select a different route that is inside of my area. Now this one looks more local to me. Um, so I'm just checking out the information, the, the ratings, etc. I'm going to uh, preview the route just to make sure it's all inside my free area. And then I'm going to hit the start planning button. That is now going to bring up all the waypoints around the route. Now you've got three icons on the bottom left hand corner, the middle icon. Now if you press that, what that's going to do is bring, that's going to actually allow you to save this route and take you to this screen so that you can edit the information. And once you've done there, you just click the done button. The bottom left hand corner button, that allows you to change the direction of travel from either anti-clockwise to clockwise, depending on which way round you want to uh, ride. Now this exact route might not match where you want to ride. So what you're able to do is to zoom in and then what, using your finger, hold down with your finger on one of the waypoints until it highlights. And then you're able to move that to anywhere on the map to include a destination for where you want to ride to. And the map will then, or the, the map will recalculate and include that waypoint on the route as well. So once you've done that, bottom left hand corner, the middle icon, click the save button there. That'll take you to this screen edit and save the route, and that'll take you back to this screen. Now, once you're happy with the route, the button at the bottom, start navigation, click that, and it brings up these options for you. Now, what these options will do will provide you a different access point to from your location to entry into the route. So uh, by tapping on each of the radio buttons, it'll move your entry point to that particular route. Underneath that, you've got four options for the motorway, a straight road, a bendy road, or a real twisty road. If you select the twisty road in the app and you don't have the premium membership, this is what's going to come up. So you need to have the premium membership to use the twisty option. The other three options are absolutely fine. And once you've done that, click the right-hand button on the bottom right-hand corner of the map, the tick, and that will start your navigation. 
and this is what the navigation screen looks like once it's active and live. Uh, now this is really nice. I think you've got a lot of information on here that's that's great. Top left hand corner tells you the the information that you need to know it regards uh, your next exit or the roundabout and what exit to take off the roundabout and how far away that is. Top right hand corner your arrival time uh, and remaining distance and then uh, the usual functions that you have on the map as well. That uh, looks really, really nice, I think, and provides a lot more information than compared to something like the BMW Motorrad navigation app. Um, and it would be great if that app actually provided information like this. So good job, Calimoto, on providing um, really great information on screen. So that was a portrait view. Now here's the landscape view. So exactly the same information. Um, the other thing I wanted to add here is the bottom right hand corner on screen, the arrival time and time remaining or distance remaining. You've got some little arrows there. Um, now pressing on those will give you different options to look at either different time um, or different distances. So nice some nice options in there as well. Now, with most navigation apps, you can, of course, have the directions narrated to you as well. So that can um, connect to your um, comms unit. So you can get directions uh, instructed to you via the comms unit as well. And, of course, on the left-hand side of the screen here, you've got a, a camera icon. You can also take photos, and they will, of course, be geolinked to the location at the time when you took that picture. Now you can add up to seven pictures to any given route, seven or eight pictures to any given route. And once you've done that and you've added those, you can click pause and that will bring up three options of back, pause or end. And then once you end your route, you can then save it, add in the relevant information, give your route a rating and all the other information that you can and type in some uh, context, some text around the route, your experience with the route. And then that will be saved in my rides so that other riders can um, get access to that route as well. So that's a full look now at the Discover tab at the top in the Rides icon. So the Rides icon, bottom left-hand corner, that was the Discover section. Now let's have a quick look at the My Rides section. So here in the My Rides section now, you will find all the routes that you have either planned or have ridden. And you can select these simply by pressing on one of those. Now that brings up all the relevant information for that particular route. And then clicking on Show in Map brings up all the waypoints included on the route and of course now you can zoom in here and then highlight one of those numbers simply by using your finger and pressing on one of those numbers to move if you want to uh, change the route or simply click in on the screen with your finger to add something to the route and then once you're happy with the route and how it is as we showed previously you can click on start navigation. That closes out the My Rides section of the Rides icon or the Rides section. So let's move now to the Planner. Two tabs right at the very top of the screen, Destination and Round Trip. Let's start with Destination. So here you can just plan a trip, either a starting point and an end destination or a starting point with an end destination plus waypoints. And so your current location um, is either where, you're, where you want to start from your current location or you can choose a different location simply by putting in the postcode. And then where it says number one, that is your first waypoint. And then you can use the plus button underneath that to either continue to add more waypoints and keep adding those until you're finished. Now for each of those sections, you can of course um, select the, the filters underneath to make sure that it's either selecting a fast route, a twisty or super twisty, things like that. Um, and then the underneath that you've got the flagged area uh, where it says flag and search address that is your destination address so once you've put that in uh, and you've planned your trip the clear all and the calculate buttons are now highlighted now that will only happen once you have put in a, a, a final destination as well as a start point now, if you have waypoints planned within your trip, you can, of course, move those up and down uh, to make sure that your your um, order of your waypoints are correct. So you just use the three lines to the right of each section and you can move those up or down as you see fit. So when you're ready, hit the calculate button. And your route is now calculated for you. And all you have to do now is hit the start navigation button ready to be on your way. Now that's the destination button. Let's have a look now at the round trip. 
Now, on this screen, you can select your criteria for your round trip. The blue circle at the top, you can change the mileage here by holding your finger on the blue circle and then sliding your finger around the circle to increase or decrease the mileage as you can see on screen at the moment. You can also do the same for the inner circle, which is your direction. So slide that around as well, depending on which direction you want to travel. You can switch direction on and off simply by clicking the direction button underneath that. Your current location is your automatic default. The pencil icon to the left, you can change your current location to a different location for where you want the journey to start. Uh, press that, search for your location, and then once you have done that, the two buttons at the bottom, uh, random and calculate. I'm not sure what the differences are between the two, actually, but pressing on either of those, uh, the map now will automatically generate a route for you of the mileage that you calculated earlier. And then you can either accept that or decline it. So if you want to decline it, click the X in the bottom left-hand corner, one of those four icons, the second one down. Or if you're happy with that particular route and you're ready to go, click on Start Navigation and the route will automatically go to the start point and you can start your ride. If you want to change one of the waypoints, you can do simply by holding your finger on the number until it highlights and then moving it on the map to where you want it to be and releasing and it will automatically re recalculate including that waypoint. So that was the planner section of the navigation app. We have three more icons at the bottom, so let's go through those. The maps icon in the middle. Uh, now we've used this quite a bit today because the planner and the rides um, icons use this uh, as part of planning. So we've used this already so we know what happens here. In your profile, you can edit your information regarding your profile and it shows you some other information here. At the top, you can click on garage and in here you can add or remove bikes and cars as and when you need to depending on when you buy and purchase or sell uh, other vehicles. Um, so that's the profile. Let's move on to the more tab now and in here you've got some great options. So you've got offline maps available in here. So you are going to need a um, premium subscription for the Cali Motor Navigation app for this but you can download offline maps here because if you're worried about losing your signal when you're on a journey you can download the offline maps here, but as I said, you're going to need a subscription to be able to do that with Cali Moto. So we have the settings option as well. So clicking that brings up this information. Switch the radio buttons on and off as you desire for the way that you want the app to operate for you. So that's it for today. Hope it's been useful for you. Any questions or comments, leave them down below the description down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it useful, give me a thumbs up. Share with other uh, friends of yours as well that you think might be interested in this video. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you again very soon.